I love the look of standalone computer terminals, so I made this short video to show you how to connect a terminal to a Mac and set things up so the Mac shell can be accessed. When you get it running, the terminal can display its own separate process on the Mac, which is potentially useful if you wanted to share access to your Mac with someone only running command line tools, or if you wanted to play a classic text adventure the right way. But of course in practice, there's really no good reason to do this. The physical connection is always over serial, specifically RS-232C. A serial cable comes with either a 25 or 9 pin connector at either end, and comes in multiple versions. I can guarantee you will never have exactly the right one at exactly the right time, so be prepared to experiment. On the Mac side, you'll need a USB to serial dongle. You can then connect the other end of the wire directly to your serial terminal. By the way, I found all the serial leads I could ever need, including the dongles, at a local computer recycling facility. Now you're ready to test your connection. I recommend using a program like Serial or some other terminal emulation program. Open the right port, set the baud rate, word length and parity to match the terminal, and start typing. You should see what you see typed echoed on the terminal and vice versa. To be honest, this will not work first time. You will have to experiment with gender changers and null modem adapters. Well, I did, so I don't see why you shouldn't have to as well. After all, it's all part of the fun. Assuming you got this far, you're now ready to set the Mac up to share a terminal. Type this on the Mac, adding your own port name as required. Now the tricky part. Press Ctrl A, and then press the colon. A prompt appears type this. If it works, your terminal will display a login prompt. Use your standard Mac login details and away you go. You might see a lot of extra characters being displayed on the terminal. This happens because the Mac will send out various control codes that your old terminal might not understand. It can take a bit of messing around to reduce these, but I got good results by doing two things. First, reverting to bash rather than in your Z shell, and secondly, setting the prompt command variable to be empty. Once I did this, it was old school computing time. If you don't have an older terminal, you can always make your own. All you need is a Raspberry Pi, an LCD display, and a USB keyboard, and then put it all together in a DIY box. You can run a program like Cool RetroTerm on the Pi and then log into your Mac by connecting two USB to serial dongles together. I'll bet you could do it over Wi-Fi too with some Unix hacking. I hope you find this useful. I put all the information I could in a Git repo. Hopefully it'll be enough to get you started. Happy hacking!